Hello and welcome to Artist Expression. This is Chris Allen and I'm sitting here with Caleb Rutledge from Gainesville. He's been in business for over five years. Um, we want to talk about how art has impacted the game industry and how do you feel that it has impacted the game industry since uh, Atari? Sure. Uh, Atari, you're taking it back, Chris. Um, well, first, thanks. You know, welcome to Gainesville, USA. We've uh, we have been in business actually almost six years, and um, we just relocated over here to the Avenue of Fashion on Livernois um, just in the past year, so we're, we're very happy to be here. Um, and art in, since the uh, since the seventies, actually, you said Atari. Yeah. Atari came out in the late seventies. That was uh, it's been something else. I probably say the biggest thing has been a technology that has advanced, um, that has allowed art to take a more um, real form. You know, like you remember in the 70s when Atari and computer and Pong, yes, you know? Yes. Uh, so like- <laughs> The little dot, blip, blip, Exactly, <laughs> exactly, back when it was just a stick in the button. Yeah, you know? all right. Um, so we, you started from that and that was a, uh, a 1D, um, 1D image. Yes. Um, then you think about um, <clears throat> in Nintendo games and the side-scrolling games. So. Excuse me. So you still had some 1D or 2D imaging, and now of course you have uh, games that are, that are even broadcast in 3D. Now to, to be broadcast in 3D, you have to have a 3D television um, as well. But in terms of technology and the graphics, um, they've evolved uh, quite a bit. Quite a bit. Yeah. When you start mentioning some of the the, the, the 2D, brings me back to some of the 16 bit games with uh, right. uh, Mario Brothers and, right. and and games like. Uh, pitfall with uh, yeah yeah absolutely <laughs> absolutely with, with Atari um, looking at the space here and some of the games that you have do you get some customers that come in that may not have played a game and looked at some of the pictures that's on the game and say hey what what is this about uh, what would be some of the I say most um, on-site games where people ask questions like that to you um, from your standpoint, what, what yeah. do you think? So, I mean, so <clears throat> one thing, of course, you know, picture sale, you know, and just like the uh, the cover of an album or a book, you know, video games okay. are the same way. So, um, so graphic design plays a huge part in that in attracting because sometimes, you know, without playing it, experiencing it, the picture is the only thing that you have to go by. So, um, in terms of which, which games have some, um, the graphics that really grab folks and are asking about, Anime games, uh, the Japanese animation. So oh, that is okay. a uh, that's a okay. huge um, there's yeah, a huge so market I'm, out there, and there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of momentum going behind uh, Japanese anime. I, I've been hearing I've been hearing quite a bit about that in yeah. the uh, so like a Dragon Comic Ball Con. Z. Oh right, in Comic Con. Yeah, yeah. So like a couple games, Dragon Ball Z, um, um, Naruto, um, games of that nature. Then you mentioned Comic Con. So at Comic Con, yeah, there's there's a, a whole anime. They have clubs and groups, you know, that attend, and um, but very big. And then graphic design is something that uh, you could you we constantly see and evolve as well. With the first Madden, uh, say football game, mm -hmm. uh, and the, the the pictures that they used on, on on some of those games, I noticed that now they go from it was just like maybe football and and and, and actually Madden himself now to actual professional players on the front of a lot of the sure a lot of the football games mm -hmm. and they I think do that as well to even make those pieces look lifelike even though mm -hmm. that they're you know either pictures or or things like that from photos mm -hmm. uh, do that also in terms into your sales as far as games that may have a nice picture of something um, someone heard of right like well, Call of Duty or right, things like that right well sticking with the sports um, you know, with the sports, those franchise games, um, they sell themselves almost, you okay. know. And then whoever is the hot player, the MVP, you know, whatever from the previous seasons, who gets the cover? Okay. You know, that's that big endorsement <laughs> deal. So um, sometimes, like, we're in Detroit, and um, we've had a good run for the past few years. Um, college Football 12, Barry Sanders shared the cover um, with RG3. Um, then the next year, Madden Anniversary Edition 25, Barry had the cover by himself. <laughs> okay. um, the year prior to Madden NFL 11, if you remember, Megatron, Calvin Johnson had the cover. So um, take it back to MLB 2K12 and 2K13, um, Verlander was on the cover of, well, he was on the cover of one of those. So Detroit <laughs> Sports, um, we have, uh, we've, we've been shining on the cover of these sports. Um, so now we're looking for EA, what's up with NHL? You know mm -hmm. the Red Wings, this is hockey town. <laughs> Come on now. 
All right. Now. So yeah, it takes um, time too. And I, I, I kind of remember some of the classics like uh, Pac Man, Miss Pac Man, mm -hmm. uh, Gallagher, mm -hmm. things like that. Well, uh, when you're talking about those old <clears> school <throat> games. Um, art has evolved even in that because you remember Pac-Man yeah. um, and Miss Pac-Man, you know, 1D side scroll is just, you mm -hmm. know, eh, 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 eh. <laughs> now um, they have 3D Pac-Man. So there's a Pac-Man game to where um, it's called Open World. So versus um, with the Pac-Man that we grew up on playing where you're just inside of a box and you're just going within there. Now with this open world. Pac-Man can go to the zoo, Pac-Man can go to the store, and he's eating power pellets and goes all the way along. There's a plot, you wow. know, Pac-Man wow. has kids and a wife now, okay? You know, oh, all right. it's something else. So right. uh, the artistry has definitely uh, evolved and grown. So uh, show us some of the things that you have available here that people can take a look at and see how even the way that you have your place set up, it's even art into the setup of your, your games where how you have them displayed. Um, so show us around and let us see some of the things that you have. Picking up the conversation when we were talking about um, graphic design and different movies that have turned into video games as well, Batman is, uh, is one of the characters that has is in every type of multimedia, including video games. So here we've got Batman Arkham Asylum. Of course, this game came out on the PlayStation 3, the Xbox 360, um, and some other um, and, and uh, PC as well. Um, then we were talking about 3D graphics. Uh, a lot of these games have 3D graphics. Far Cry is a great RPG game. RPG stands for role-playing game. So in terms of the, the artistry within the game, this is a game where you actually play as the character. It's open world, so you can travel to a lot of different environments. Um, and you can see a character in a 360, um, 360 viewing and control everything from their movement, um, to where they're walking, where they're looking, etc. So after Far Cry, um, The Walking Dead, um, I wanted to share this one because this is where um, we say which, which uh, uh, art form does it take the, does it mimic life or does life mimic art? With this one, the video game is mimicking the TV show. The TV show was out first and then you came out with The Walking Dead. This is the second series within The Walking Dead video game and it's a hot seller. The last thing we'll talk about, um, Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z is one of those anime games that we talked about, Japanese animation. Very hot game. Um, it also has, when you're talking about in playing more than uh, just a video game, you can also see cartoons. Um, and they've had movies as well. So Dragon Ball Z, this one is Battle of Z. So those are a few games that we wanted to talk about more so. Graphic design within the games, some examples of the 2D, 3D, and how they play in the game. So come on down to Gainesville, USA. That comic book as well. Oh yeah, behind us, um, and this was something that actually one of my partners uh, uh, brought to my attention and uh, we decided to roll with, is that um, there's a crossover in terms of the marketing, um, or the customer base I should say, with comic books and games. And you know that's obvious because there are Marvel, the, 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 the entity of Marvel has been around since the, the 50s I think okay. or so. Um, started off as comic books of course, then later on they had TV shows, you know, then they turned into movies and now there are video games with those Marvel characters. Yes, like I remember uh, you have uh, the Avengers that has the game um, Iron Man and mm -hmm. spin off from that uh, Spider-Man and sure. uh, those, those other ones. So yeah, so we've got some good comic books here. We've got some rare comic books as well. So come in too. Um, we have a lot of customers coming in to do comic books. So for example, we've got this uh, autographed edition. This is autographed by Al Williamson. Super, super rare. This is actually a hundred bucks right here. Um, this is uh, this Spider-Man 2099. Uh, we've got Batman Detective Comics, um, Deathlock. This is extremely rare right here. Um, Wolverine, Death of Wolverine. So uh, we've got quite a few um, great comic books as well, so people come in for that. And when, when you start talking about the Comic-Con, um, is this would this be uh, one of those Comic Con issues here, the Holoquin and? Uh... Well, you know, Comic Con, of course, is an event where um, comic enthusiasts and game enthusiasts and folks who collect action figures and, and just that whole um, industry and kind of marketplace come together under one roof. 
Um, and yeah, these um, the comics they definitely have a place. There are plenty of comic vendors at Comic Con, and it's a yeah, it's a great event. It's a really good event. Okay. So well, yeah, so let me take you and show you some other things as well. All right. All right, we've got a uh, one of our resident gamers, Dale here. Um, Dale, tell us about this game you're playing. So this game is called Warframe. Uh, it was released around when the PS4 was first released uh, in November. Um, this is one of those action RPG titles you were referring to earlier. Okay. Simply because what I am in right now is a Warframe, mm. and it's cust each Warframe is custom to its own set of skills and abilities. So, right now you see me using Frost Prime, it has okay. ice abilities. Okay. Walk up to the enemy, I can freeze them. I can do a multiple of different skills with this. Cool, cool. And um, tell us about this game. When, um, well, what do you like about it? Me personally, it's just one of those games where you are truly in depth into the game as far as customizing your character, different missions you choose. Sure. Um, like right now, I had to work this hard to be able to get the powers that I have, get the weapons that I have. Sure. It's definitely one of those games that will immerse you into it and okay. the rewards are very, um, how can I say, uh, it actually makes you feel like you're doing something once yeah. you uh, really contribute to it. Okay, okay. Gotcha. And um, and if somebody wanted to get at you on a PSN network, what's your gamer tag? Me, I'm Soul Dash the letter N Maka. That's my PSN. Um, Dale X Dominion. If you want to reach me on Xbox 360 or Xbox One, and you can always find me on YouTube at Laydale Wilson or my email laydalewilson at gmail.com. Resident gamer, get at us. Peace. So, Caleb, let our audience know where you're located at. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So, Gainesville, USA, we are on at 19450 Livernois, one block north of Outer Drive, in between six and seven mile road. So, um, you can Google us, um, look us up on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, um, Gainesville, USA. Come on down and check us out. And why don't you leave them with the number? Oh. That would be important, huh, Chris? Yeah. <laughs> 313-468-9708. Let me tell you that one more time. 313-468-9708. Tell us what else you have going on here at Gainesville or things that I've been hearing people talking about. Sure. Um, so it's not your ordinary video game store. Um, we also have an A's and B's program. Um, actually, our A's and B's program is for any student, um, any student. So where we have students okay. in elementary, middle school, high school, college, our older students probably 51. You know, in A's and B's program, the premise okay. is basically we provide an incentive for students to get good grades. Um, the way I like to say it, it's an incentive for the student and a discount for the parent. Okay? All right. So um, any A or B on homework, quiz, test, parks report, report card, they get points, and the points add up to discounts. So it's a um, it's a special program, and um, it's a way to really incentivize um, the students out there. And you have some type of a uh, discount card that you do too as well, right? Yes, actually we have two discount cards. Okay. Um, one of them is our own uh, Gainesville Rewards card. Um, and with that, <clears throat> you can purchase a card. It's a customer loyalty card. So you get discounts on items, special promotions, a special customer day appreciation. Okay. Um, there's some free services like you get a free scratch removal. Um, so quite a few things with that. We also um, have our Avenue of Fashion discount card. Because we're located on the Avenue of Fashion, there are several shops and businesses that participate in it. And depending on which one you go into, you get different discounts. Okay, that sounds good. You yes. Know, may have to go ahead and get me one of those discount cards. Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks again, Caleb, for being on the show and welcoming us into your store. Thank you for having me, Chris. <laughs> Thank you again for being here with us. And this is Chris Allen signing off. When you get a chance, take a look around because the art is in everything.